teacher? Yes, I'm here. I still can hear what you say. Oh, you cannot hear me? You try to try put put out your your headphones. Your earphones. Try to inconnect. Try, can you I still can hear. Sally, can you hear me? I can't hear what you say. Oh, wait, Miss Sally, huh? What? I can't hear. What is it? Can you hear me? I can't hear. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you hear me? I can't hear what, what you say. I can't hear. Oh my, oh my God. Okay, oh, okay. One. Okay, I can hear now. Okay, so I will share now with this one. Okay, so we are now. So look at this, Sally, the dumpy ride. Look at the photo, Sally. Look at the title and the photos here. You read the I can statement for this lesson and predict what happens in the next. You tell your idea. I can understand a text about paraglider. Okay. So please read the statement. I can understand a text about paraglider. What happened in the text? You tell idea. What do you think is this one? It's you can write your idea in the chat box if you want. Okay. Maybe I'm finished. Teacher? Okay. So what is your answer? I can write, wait me. I can write, I can, I can know that this ride is very dangerous. I know, do not say I can. I know that this ride is very dangerous. Okay, yeah, of course. This ride is very dangerous. Do you think you like paragliding? Do you think you like that? 
No, I don't like it because it's very dangerous. Yeah. Oh my God. Need to try. I cannot imagine Sally myself riding. Nineteen. Ninety percent people. One. Yeah, about that. Oh, uh, but 90%. other people. Yeah, but other people really like it, Sally. There are many people who likes who likes paragliding. Any. Yeah, very dangerous. I like it. Oh my God. I don't like paragliding. Of course. Because it's very dangerous. Yeah, okay. So we have here the word bumpy, not even with alarms or bumps like that. Spin. Take off. You leave the ground and begin to fly to like the plane. Take off. Like that. Approach. Come nearer. Okay. Land, of course, through the air into the ground. Another is reach. I can reach to arrive at a place that you have been traveling. So I reach Vietnam. Oh, I reach New York already. Okay, that was drop to put somebody in dangerous place that they cannot get out of that. Like the mouse was being trapped in the uh, in the net. Okay, champion, winner, win the competitions. Carry on to continue. Moving, carry on, carry on, carry on. Okay, experience. Okay, the knowledge and skill that you have gained through doing something. Innermost, it means extremely large. Thunderstorm, a storm with thunder and lightning and usually very heavy rain. Okay, thunderstorm. It's thunderstorm. There is a thunderstorm. Okay, so this one. Now, look at this to match the six highlighted verbs of the movement in the text with a definition below. You write the infinitive. Okay. Uh, spin.
I'm finished. Okay, wait, Miss Shali, ha? Okay, so you have take off, to go off from the ground, correct? To come down to the ground, land, to move nearer, nearer, approach, to arrive at a certain place, reach, very good, Sally. To move in a certain direction, get. Ah, very good, wow. Okay, so look at the gobs in the text. Which gobs begins with a verb in the past? Simple. Oh, let us have this. Okay, so like this. You just need to match. Match the phrases A to K with the text 1 to 10. I'm sorry, Sally. I will hide mine, Sally, so that you can read properly. Okay, I am hiding mine, so you can read. You can check. Properly. Okay, one, nine, ten, please.
La la la, la 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 la. We're finished. Okay, let us share. Can you hear me, Sally? I can hear you. Very good. Okay, one and oh, wait, Sally, ha. Okay, one edge. Very good. Two. Wow, very good. Three. Where's number three? Wow, Sally, girl. Great job. Four, Sally. Oh, wow. Four is came together and dropped her. Okay, five, J. Where's number five? Oh, it's letter A. And six is... Oh, you try to reverse. Okay, number seven. Letter D. Correct. Eight is C. And nine is F. And ten is I. Oh, Sally. Only this one. The J and the A. You try to... Change, but everything is correct. Wow, very smart girl. Thank you so much, Sally. Okay, so here this one. So prepare an interview with a one, then act out your interview. Okay, you are an interviewer. Okay, please prepare six questions using the prompt. You are a one. Prepare your answer to letter A's questions. Use as much as information from the text. Now, what, how will you going to revise the question? Example, okay. What were you doing in Australia? Can you revise the questions here? Oh, you try your best. Just do not answer Sally. Just arrange the sentence or revise the sentence, okay? To make it question.
please wait a minute. Okay. Go, Sally, you can do it. <clears throat> okay, so what's the weather like? Oh, she's like, uh, like the not saying, okay. Uh, why were you, why did you take off? Okay, what can you remember about the storm? What part can you remember? Okay, this is okay. What part can you remember about the storm? It, it is okay, Sally, for me. What is the most terrible part experience? What is the most terrifying part in the experience in your experience or of the experience it could be how did you feel okay how did you feel afterwards oh so that's correct uh what's that sally but there are some words that you did not include them okay please include that next time okay oh sally let's move in okay let's move to the next activity I can live, I can fly. What's the weather in Vietnam, Sally? It's uh, very hot. Rainy right now, I know. It's rainy? It's really very hot. It's really hot too. In my country, Sally, it's very, very hot, Sally. As in very hot. Wow. Yes. How much time did we remain? Okay, so we only have seven minutes. Is that enough? Okay, we still have, yeah. So, of course, if we cannot finish, we will not finish. Okay? Okay, so we have here, wait, Miss Aliha. Oh, my God. Okay, so here. Okay, so we are now in unit 4E. Okay, so look at the photo, Sally. Match them with the words, with the events below. Okay, look at the photo. Match them with the events below. Sorry, Sally, you cannot see. my. I hide my, my what's that? My picture, my my camera, so that you can properly see some of this. Because, okay. Music festival, parade, supermarket, and where's the other one? Okay. 
Ay, no, no. Finish. Okay. Ah. Diha. Diha. Balhi ni sang tubig alam nga kuan. Kilian. Balhi ni sang tubig tung balde. Okay, so this is street market parade and music festival. Okay, street market Parade and Music Festival. Okay. So which do you think in the three pictures, Sally, that you like the most? The one that I, you like the most? I like the street market. Ah, uh, you like street market. Why do you think you like street market? Because I I can I can eat some some too because I'm I'm always hungry. You're always hungry. <laughs> you're always hungry. You like to eat a lot because you're always hungry. Okay, so here. Now we have vocabulary. We have the lamp. Okay, uh, sorry, you know this. Pavement. Pedestrian crossing like this. This pedestrian. Road sign. Of course, there's road sign. So many. And... Roadworks. Okay, roadworks. This one, of course, it's not finished. Phone box. Pedestrian crossing. Pedestrian crossing. Phone box. Phone box and traffic, of course. Pedestrian crossing. And traffic light. Traffic light. Okay, so this is number two. This is pavement. The pavement and lamp post. The lamp post. Lamp post. Okay, so you understand this? Okay, so now Sally, find three th three of the things in the list below in photo C. Okay, find three things in the list below in the photo C. Teacher M. Yes, finished? I can't because. What do you think, Ole? Okay, give it to me. I can't read the bus because 10% people can't see it. Okay, number one, what do you think? In the street, you can see traffic light, here, here, of course. Here, here. What's that? I think. Maybe. Traffic, oh, traffic light, what else? Traffic light, I can see that here. Traffic okay, light. Traffic light, yes. 
Next. What And else? Bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. Oh, that's a bus stop. Okay, what else? Mm, How about the shop, road? Sign. shop sign? Oh, many shop sign, shop right? Sign. Here. Oh. Here. Oh, yeah, that one, yes. Here. How about road sign? Have you seen road sign? Road sign. Maybe this is hard. You got that one, road sign. That one? Here, here, here. Here, here. Oh, here. this one, this one, yeah. Correct, Sally, that one. So here. That one. So many. How about pedestrian crossing? Here, here, here. Oh, this one. Okay. How about uh lamp post? Lamp lamp post. post. Um this one. Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, the lamp post is hard. Here, okay. here. Oh yes, yes. Next, how about bus stop, lamp post, pavement? Mm, pavement? Um, yeah. You cannot see pavement here? I can see it here. Here, here. This, this one. Okay, okay. Okay, so so you can see. What do you think is this place, Ali? I don't know. Maybe a shop. A shop? No, this place, this place. Is it the city or in the countryside? I don't know. This is in the where? This is in the Philippines. In the no no no. This is in the city. Okay. But of course. Oh. There's... One where's number one? Look at. Oh where? So this is number two. Lamp post. Six shop sign. Five. I can see. I can see the uh, number one. I can see number one. Oh. Of can course you see I that? Can. can you see? I can. I can. Of course I can. Here is it. Here, here. Oh, sorry, Sally. Maybe here. Here, here. Uh, the most clear, Sally, the one they have told here is the most clear, clear. So shop sign, there's many shop sign, right? Number four. Yeah. Know, yeah, six. Road sign, five. Traffic light, seven. Lamp post. Uh, the one you can see, bus stop and pavement, it's hard to find here. Uh, that's why there is no number one and three. I can see number one. Number one oh, is where here. Where is number one? Where? Here, here. Where, Sally? Underline in circle, Sally. Wait, wait. Ah, that one? You told me that one? Bus stop? Do you think there's a bus stop there? Yeah, of course. This is the bus stop. Ah, the bus stop, you mean? The bus is going to stop there. Oh, so that is what you mean. Okay, so here. Now, you task Teacher. Me. Yeah. How many minutes? We two minutes. Have? Two minutes. You listen to two candidates comparing the photo, answer the questions, okay? Lesson 4G, exercises 3 and 4. Student 1. The first photo shows three teenage girls and a boy. I think they're at a music festival. They're walking down a muddy path. In the second photo, I can see a street market at night. It can't be in Britain because some of the shop signs aren't in English. In the foreground, a young man and woman are walking along the street. In the background, there are a few other people. Both photos show people in their free time. <laughs> One obvious difference is that the first photo is taken during the day and the second photo is taken at night. In the first photo, it must be a rainy day because they're wearing raincoats. Mm. In the second photo, it must be a cold night because the people are wearing winter coats and scarves. In the first photo, the people don't look very happy. 
especially the girl in the middle and the boy in the background. Perhaps they're feeling fed up because of the weather. In the second photo, the man and woman are probably feeling cold, but not unhappy. Student okay. two. In the okay, so Sally, we don't have enough time for this. And the next week, we will gonna study this one. Okay, Sally, we'll continue okay. to this next week because we are not yet done. Okay, so let us have task three, unit four, E, and B, and E. Okay, 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 so I will see you, Sally, next week. Okay, okay, goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Sally girl. Good night. Bye. Have a good day. Yes, good night.